Okay, so hello again. Uh, now we're going to demonstrate a little bit of chakra healing for you. So basically this is balancing and realigning some of the chakra centers. Not all of them, but some where there will get, well, there, there's often a lot of blockage and a lot of maybe heartache and a need to center and grind. So these are very, very simple pr um, practices. This is a very simple practice. It only takes a few minutes. So if you've got a few minutes in the day, you want to give this a go, I really recommend you give it a go. So I'm going to ask Shiva to join me now in one minute. We're sitting here in nature. It's beautiful. So if you can get out into nature to try this, I often find it much, much more beneficial. If, not, if it's not possible, it doesn't matter. So I've got a seat here that Shiva is going to join me in. Hello, Shiva. Hello. Hi, everybody. Yes, are you ready to relax? I'm fully relaxed. You're fully relaxed? <laughs> no, there is much more. Right. Okay, so relax yourself. <sighs> relax. Center, grind. Breathe fully and deeply into the pit of your stomach. And I'm just going to begin here with really just tuning in to Shiva's aura. So his energy field, I'm just tuning into. Tuning into the crown chakra, the crown energy center. Really just establishing, a, the, establishing this connection between our two energies. And relax with every exhale. Breathe out any tension, any tightness. With every inhale, relax, release. Relax, rejuvenate, restore, rebalance. Now you can spend much longer on each of these. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it a little bit quicker than usual. So here I'm just, the hand is going in at the base of the skull and at the front of the forehead. I'm applying a little bit of pressure, slight bit of pressure. You can experiment with with um, the person that you're doing this with. You can ask them if they'd like a little bit more or less and just feel how that is. It feels, when you're receiving this, it feels very like you're being held. It's like a safe space being held. It's very good for releasing tension or anxiety in the head. Often we have this monkey mind that wants to continue to think and think and think. This is a really, really good this is a really good um, practice for releasing and still in the mind, calm in the mind. So every time you breathe out Shiva, I want you to breathe out any tension in the mind and breathe in clarity and calmness. Bring the inner eye to the mind, breathing in calmness, clarity, stillness, breathing out any tension, any worry, any thought patterns that are continuous or maybe negative. Again, you can stay longer here. And just gently release that. Now moving into the shoulders. Often we're, we've got tight shoulders, we're holding them and we're not aware of it. So breathe deeply into the pit of your stomach. As you breathe out, I want you to relax and allow your shoulders to fall. Continue to do this. Relax, allow the shoulders to fall fully. Release. Let go. This is a really, really good practice. I know this isn't, this is actually affected though the throat chakra, but this is a really, really good practice for letting go, surrendering. Surrendering the, to the moment, the now, letting go of anything that you're holding on to. Being in the present moment. Let go. Release. Anything that you're holding, let go. And it's really surprising around the shoulders that often it's only when we really bring our attention to the shoulders we realize how much we're holding them. Or at least this is the case for me. Again, hold this usually for a few more minutes. Gently release. 
The next one, I'm going to go to the heart. So is it okay if I touch your heart? Yes. Some people just ask permission in case they have some anxiety around the heart. The heart is very gentle. You have to be very gentle around it. So my hand at the back is at the, at the back of the heart center. And at the front is at the front. So the heart center is here in the middle of the chest, middle of the breast. And I'm just holding it. Again, applying a little bit of pressure. And all the time during each of these practices, during each of these the sequence, I'm sending love to this person. Love, acceptance, gratitude. I'm feeling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so is it okay if I suggest of more course, pressure or less course. pressure? Yeah. What would you like? So a little bit more pressure. And as you breathe out, just breathe out any hurt, any sadness, any pain, any manipulation, anything that you've felt before that's affected the heart center. And then as you're breathing in, you're breathing in love, light, compassion, healing, nurturing, kindness, gratitude, all of the lovely things, gracefulness, abundance. What I'm experiencing right now is really a tremendous sense of uh, peace and uh, tranquility and security that is waking up. Mm. And uh, I'm also feeling like a very soft and gentle sense of joy. Like I feel like there is an inner giggle that starts coming through. Oh, let it out. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to giggle. No, it's like it's a, it's, a, it's a very subtle, but it's like it's a very, it's very pleasant to simply be touched in mm. some areas, you know. Yeah. Especially with the combination of the front and the back. Mm. Yeah, and I often feel very secure in this hold. It's like safe, secure, comforted. And so again, because of all those feelings, just gently release that. If you do so abruptly, it, it almost disturbs the other person. So I often release a little bit, hold, and then release completely. Now I'm just kind of brushing down the, the other person's aura, just to cleanse, just to cleanse anything that might be stuck anything that she may want rid of. And I'm just going to, the last, the, la the second last practice in this sequence is I'm actually just holding the feet here. So I'm holding the feet against the earth. And this is really just to focus this connection. The feet on the earth. So breathing in Shiva to this rootedness, this groundedness. Just imagine Roots coming out of the bottom of your feet into the earth, into the core of Mother Earth. Breathe up the energy of Mother Earth. Breathe up this energy. And I know that maybe you didn't see me there, but I was only um, applying a bit of pressure on the feet just to really help ground, really help ground the feet, this connection between the feet and earth. And you're just imagining this, uh, these like roots growing into the earth from your feet. Breathing up the energy through your body from Mother Earth. And now I'm just going to bend the body forward a tiny bit. And I'm just going to rejuvenate the whole system. So this is large circles in a clockwise direction. If you want to relax the person, calm them for, for sleep, then it's anti-clockwise. But since it's the start of the day, I'm going to reinvigorate. Reinvigorate Shiva, although I don't think he needs much reinvigorating. <laughs> so here is some circles, or you can do this gently, and you can apply a little bit of pressure. And it can be smaller circles and a large circle. And now I'll just take that away. What I'm going to do is just touch a plant, any energy that I received. I'm just releasing it into Mother Earth. And that, how do you feel, Shiva? Great, yeah. yeah. It's like, keep going for another <laughs> hour. <laughs> and this was much quicker than usual. Usually you can spend a little bit longer in each one. Mm -hmm. But it's a really quick, um, a, a beautiful process of just tapping into some of the sh like energy centers, helping balance and restore. It's beautiful, yeah. Can I add something? Yeah, of course. Um, I would say that very often when, when we 
have techniques demonstrated to us, we think that there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. I would say that uh, when you see something like that, this is a starting point. You know, it's like a seed that is planted, and then use your intuition to you know to navigate and evolve. For instance, when you're touching the heart, if you feel like getting a more pressure on mm -hmm. one, it's like feel free. To, this is like a beginning recipe, right? Continue. And then you can expand and play with it because your instinct and intuition mm. really guide you. Know, yeah, completely. Uh, Definitely, and this this is great actually because the same, I think so too. You can add in like even around the solar plexus, the sacral, the root. You can the root, the groundedness there was was very good for helping grind. But you can add and and change and make things your own. I mean, the more we do this, the better, you know. So um, okay, we leave it at that for now. Thank you.